blue light emitting diodes or LEDs illuminate Henley Gate, the iconic east entrance to UC Santa Barbara. The blue hue spotlights the pioneering and collaborative research of gallium nitride, commonly referred to as GAN, that has occurred on this campus for decades. No other university, in my opinion, in the United States has impacted gallium nitride like we have. It's a bold statement, but one that Mishra and the other co-founders of the Solid State Lighting and Energy Electronic Center, Stephen Denbars, James Speck, and Nobel laureate Shuji Nakamura, who invented the blue LED, support with facts. Starting with the cumulative impact of their work to improve the efficiency and brightness of LEDs. A lot of people forget when Suji came here in the year 2000, LEDs were only about um, 20 lumens per watt, which is about 5% efficient. So at UCSB, we increased that efficiency, you know, over tenfold to, you know, 72% efficiency, 200 lumens per watt. So that's 10 times brighter, 10 times more efficient. Their work thrust LEDs into everyday life and lighting everything from cell phones and TVs to cinema displays and automobiles. Recently, they've also emerged as world experts in micro LEDs. Particularly the sphere is really mind blowing to see that, you know, the largest display in the world is made with uh, LEDs and the brightness of those LEDs were improvements made here at UCSB. And that's a fun thing about research is you can never imagine where it's gonna end up. The Department of Energy estimates that by 2030, LED lighting will save $250 billion annually in the U.S. alone. And by 2035, the annual energy savings in the U.S. will equal the output of more than 91,000 megawatt power plants. Because of Suji's pioneering work and a lot of the work we did on the materials at UCSB, I think every GAN LED has some DNA going back to UCSB in it, and I think that's great. UCSB's GAN impact reaches far beyond lighting and displays. Advancements made here also revolutionized the electronics and communications industries when they were applied to high electron mobility transistors or HEMPs, establishing UCSB as pioneers of power electronics. The HEMPed application towards microwaves, which actually made it what it is today, happened here in 1996. And we basically did most of the work on gallium polar hemp's, and then for the last 15 years developed a whole new field of nitrogen polar hemp's, which has completely changed the game when it comes to the next generation of wireless communications. Today, game-changing discoveries made at UCSB are powering radar, data centers, 5G base stations, phone and laptop chargers, and electric vehicles. You look at 5G base stations today, all the new rollouts are gallium nitride. So when you talk on the phone, it's UCSB's fingerprints are all over it. All of the essential work in GAN transistors started at UCSB. And that field is going through its similar explosive growth right now that, that LEDs have already gone through. These center's numbers speak for themselves. They've received $76 million from industry members, produce more than 1,400 publications that have been cited nearly 65,000 times, amassed 377 active patents and applications, trained more than 150 PhD students, nearly 20 of whom are faculty, and they launched nearly 10 successful startups. Mesh and Jim and Steve, they are so smart and hard work. We developed all kinds of graduated devices working together, so it's amazing. We did start with the idea that we wanted it to be a team effort, and because we always felt that that's one of the things UCSB does better than just about any other U.S. university, is we do really good collaborative research. Considering the discoveries, citations, students, and influential technologies, UCSB is an engine of GAN innovations for social impact. All this doesn't happen by wishing. It requires the sustained effort over time. UCSB has done that. We have stayed true to our North Star and results prove it.